What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking the question of should you draft Alvin Kamara for the 2022 fantasy football season? Where and why? How you should approach the player uh, and your expectations. So definitely should be pretty interesting breakdown. Make sure to tune in. If you guys enjoy, hit that like button. Subscribe. Give us a follow on Twitter at All Day Pigskin to continue interacting with us there. Let us hear it in the comment section. How do you feel about Alvin Kamara this season? Where are you drafting him? Are you drafting him? Uh, along with any other questions you guys might have, I'll do my best to answer them all. And lastly, make sure to check out the 2022 ADP Fantasy Football Draft Guide. Now available for purchase, has everything you want at a great value. Top 150 overall player ranking, standard and PPR formats, individual player bios, tiers, projections, along with general fantasy advice. All those details in the description. But with that being said, let's get into it. And as you can see, I've got the consensus ADPs here for the running back position uh, per PPR scoring formats pulled up via Fantasy Pros. And what I like here is that it shows you uh, the rankings uh, across several different websites for really any positional group, including the running backs here. And as you can see, uh, Fantasy Pros has Alvin Kamara here at the number 10 spot. Uh, but you can see, you know, ESPN number nine, RT Sports 14, Fantrax 10, FFC 11, Sleeper 10. And I'll show you Yahoo in a little bit. But the reason I want to show this is because obviously it's going to depend on platform to platform where Alvin Kamara is being drafted. It's going to depend on scoring format as well. But the reason we're having this conversation is because we were all expecting a suspension to come down for Alvin Kamara this year due to his incident, uh, you know, in the Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl, and you know, people were saying anything from three games to six games. Uh, you know, six games kind of now seems crazy considering that's what Deshaun Watson got. Uh, but you know, that's a conversation for another time. The point being is, where do you draft a guy that's facing a possible suspension, especially? when it's a player like Alvin Kamara, who the last couple of years has been a top five, easily a top five uh, selection in first rounds, uh, especially in PPR formats. Hell, in PPR formats, he's been a top three guy. Like it's been McCaffrey, it's been Eckler, it's been Kamara, you know, uh, that uh, type of deal for the last two years. And, you know, this year, uh, it's at least as of late, been more and more of a trend that Alvin Kamara is going in the second round, even in the third round of drafts. Uh, if you've seen us do some of these mock drafts, especially on Yahoo, he's been available more often and more often come the third round. Uh, and the question you have to ask yourself is, is the risk worth the reward? The risk obviously being you drafting a guy like Alvin Kamara early on, potentially in the second round, and him missing games. You know, this is the difference between a suspension and a potential injury. We can't predict injuries. So the risk associated with a guy that's going to be suspended that, you know, we know for a fact versus a guy that might get hurt like Christian McCaffrey, two completely different things. Now, I will say with Kamara, uh, there is one big piece of information that happened just this week uh, that I feel like not enough people are talking about. And that should lead him to have an ADP that's cruising up. And that's that his battery case was postponed two months. So, you know, that's the big headline here, folks. With that being the case, the NFL can't suspend him until that hearing takes place, which means, you know, right now it's early August. Alvin Kamara is going to be available for the start of the season. Now, there is a scenario that he potentially gets suspended at some point in the middle of the season, towards the end of the season. And that would be the worst case scenario. That would be the worst case scenario because, you know, you then would not have him, uh, let's say you make the playoffs, let's say you make a run to the championship, you wouldn't have him probably um, in those clutch times when you need your RB1 more than ever. Uh, so as a result, you know, you can get him in the second round, sometimes in the third round. Now, would you still draft him in the first round? That's the question you have to answer. You know, just where do you feel comfortable drafting him? Should you draft him? Now, me personally, the way this thing is trending, the fact that he's going to start off the season, I think it's pretty clear what the Kamara side of uh, this is trying to do. They're trying to postpone this for as long as possible so he can play the entirety of the year. And honestly, I think that's the way it's going to go. 
And the suspension that he's probably going to get, I think it's going to be less than six games. I think it's going to be in the range of like two to three games. So the point being here, I'm all in on Alvin Kamara. The fact that he's getting a discount of a round, a round and a half, maybe even two rounds. Like if Kamara wasn't dealing with the situation in full PPR scoring, how do you have him under guys like Derrick Henry or under a Najee Harris or a Joe Mixon or a Nick Chubb? That's absolutely laughable. Alvin Kamara, you know, as long as Jameis Winston is the quarterback, that's the main thing here because we don't want any of those Taysom Hill experiments where it screws over the entire offense and the pass catching ability of Alvin Kamara uh, and the rushing upside of the team as a whole. As long as it's Jameis Winston, he'll feed Alvin Kamara the football uh, and the rushing attack will be uh, one that other teams have to respect. So then Kamara will be able to do his thing. He should be a top five running back for PPR formats or right knocking on the door of that. Right now, again, uh, he's coming in at that number 10 spot, which equates to a second round selection. And I guarantee you, looking at the names that are underneath him, guys that are going to be selected ahead of him, Javante Williams, there's so much hype around him, Aaron Jones, uh, a fantasy darling for a lot of people this year, including myself. Uh, people are in love with Leonard Fournette uh, with what he did last year. And then Saquon Barkley, another name that uh, is going to be rising up draft boards. I think it's very, very real possibility that Alvin Kamara in a lot of people's eyes is actually like in this 14, 15 spot. And in fact, I'll show you half PPR scoring here uh, for the sake of the argument, because here you can see in Yahoo where he ranks, he ranks in at the number 13 spot at running backs. Um, pretty crazy. So again, that's he goes further down and down, down that list of rankings where you can get him. Uh, if you can get basically Alvin Kamara, I would say at the end of the second round, I would be smashing the draft button uh, every single time, 10 times out of 10. Um, that is an absolute steal. Uh, if a suspension comes this year, I think it's going to be a shorter one. And I think that, you know, if you draft Alvin Kamara, the main thing that you have to do, make sure you get Mark Ingram um, or whoever potentially becomes that uh, clear cut backup, because we've known, at least with Mark Ingram, that he can take the place for Alvin Kamara pretty admirably. Uh, and then the other thing I would say is, you know, back up your running back position in the first or third round if you have Alvin Kamara planning for a potential suspension. But honestly, when the suspension hits before that and after that, you are pl- you have a guy that's a top five running back talent that you got in the second or third round. That's an absolute steal. Uh, that's how you win fantasy football drafts, folks. You take calculated risks. I think this is definitely one of them uh, and one that will work out in your favor. Take advantage of people being a little bit uh, cautious right now, a little bit scared off. Uh, I think this is a huge, huge win, huge opportunity for you just to soup up your rosters for really no cost to you. Uh, This is an absolute cheat code. Go get Alvin Kamara in the second round. If you can get him in the third round, that is an even bigger steal. It's a no brainer. Uh, Kamara, the answer, should you draft him? Hell yes. Uh, If he goes in the first round, Uh, I would say it's got to be at the end of the first round, but you know, anywhere afterwards where you should draft him, if you can get him in the second round, hell yes. In the third round, uh, that's the steal of the draft and just ask no questions. Uh, Just make sure to do your homework, back yourself up with, uh, uh, with some handcuffs, get some depth at the running back position, and you are going to be absolutely in an awesome spot, especially in PPR formats. So that's my two cents. Let me know your thoughts. Do you agree, disagree? But Kamara is quickly becoming one of the guys that I have to draft, considering that his case is being postponed and postponed and postponed. uh, And he's going to kick off the season playing for the Saints. He's still one of their top weapons. Um, You know, I get that Michael Thomas, Landry, and Olave are there. But uh, Kamara, how he's used, he's still going to be a focal point. Uh, He's going to be the best fantasy option on that team. Give me Kamara all day long. Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. Again, do you agree, disagree along with any of the questions you guys might have? Um, If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe. Give us a follow on Twitter at All Day Pigskin to continue interacting with us there. And make sure to check out the 2022 ADP Fantasy Football Draft Guide. Uh, All the details in the description. But with that being said, we'll see you guys in future videos.